guys, my name's Dave and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. In this lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to play Lemon Tree by Post Malone, which is a great tune, got some really nice strumming in it. So for the basics of this song, you'll need your guitar in standard tuning and you will need a capo on the second fret of your guitar. The guitar I'm playing in this video is the Blue Lava from Lava Music, which features inbuilt effects and inbuilt looper, all on the three and a half inch high lava touchscreen system. If you want to find out more, there's a link in the description below. If you want to master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to improve your guitar in general, then sign up to Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. All right, let's jump into the lesson. One thing I want to note is that this song has a swing feel. So with the strumming, the down strums are always held out a little longer than the up strums. So one, and two, and three, and four, and Notice how on that downbeat, it's held out for a little longer than the upbeat, which is fairly quick. Alrighty, so there's three sections that we need to learn in this song. So let's start with the verse, which is pretty simple. There's just two chords effectively, but there's a couple of transition chords as well. So we're gonna start with an A minor chord shape, really nice and easy. And we're then going to go to a C slash B. So from this A minor, just lift your middle and ring finger and just put your middle finger on that second fret of the fifth string. And you can keep your index finger where it is. Now for this shape, we're only really focusing on that second fret note of the fifth string. So our strumming pattern is gonna go down, 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 up, down, up. Now on that final down strum, that's where we're gonna to go to that C slash B. But as I noted before, you only really wanna focus on that single bass note. So the A minor to the C slash B. And now when we go to a C chord, and our transition chord is a G. But again, you only really wanna focus on that bass note, so it's the third fret of the sixth string. So you can keep your index finger where it is when you're going from this C to the transition chord. We have the exact same strumming pattern as well. So down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down. So that transition is always just on the final down strum. So that's it for the verse, which sounds like this in total. And that just keeps repeating it again and again. And a little bit faster. Notice how those transition chords, I'm really only focusing on a single note. And the very first strum of each chord, the A minor and the C, I'm really only focusing on the bass note of those chords as well. And one more time. We move on to the pre-chorus, which has four lines of chords here. So we're gonna start with an F chord, and then we're gonna to go to an E7. So it's the same as an E major chord, but you can lift your ring finger and then we're going to go to a D minor. So for the F to the E7, we're going to play a down, 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 up, down, up, strumming pattern. For the D minor, that spans across two bars and we're going to play down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. So the first line of chords. For the second line of chords, we have A minor, C, another E7, and then for this final bar, an E7 to an F. And that E7 to an F, the strumming pattern is down, down, up, down, down, up. And it would change chords on the three beat, so down, down, up, down, down, up. And the second line of chords, For the third line of chords, we have an A minor, C, a D minor, and then an F. All for that typical down, 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 up, down, up 
strumming a pattern. For the fourth line of chords, we have A minor, D minor, and E7 for that long strumming pattern that we had for the D minor in the first line of chords. So that's it for the pre-chorus, which sounds like this all together. Finally, the next section is the chorus, and we have three lines of chords here. So first line of chords is A minor to F, and then D minor, and then F to E7. So we're gonna use the same strumming patterns that we had for the pre-chorus as well. So where there's two chords for a bar, F to E7, for example, we have down, 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 up. For everything else, we have down, 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 up, down, up. The second line of chords is A minor, C, F, and then the fourth bar is F to E7. The third line of chords is A minor to C to D minor and then E7. And that second line of chords is played through twice. So in total, the chorus sounds like this. And those are all the parts to this song. So now I'll be doing a full playthrough of the song and of my good friend Eric Lenny's awesome vocals through this playthrough. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to to practice, play along to, and see how you go.
Some people got an apple Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this lesson, then I know you'll absolutely love these other lessons too. So hit the link here, or if you want to grab a copy of my free guitar ebook, then head over to guitarzeritohero.com or click the link here. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.